Olivia Tucker, better known as OT, is a senior shooting guard for the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Originally from Newark, Delaware, she found her second family here in Fairfield, Connecticut. We recruited OT when she was a junior and a senior in high school. We loved her, offered her, she came here on visits, it was the most fun ever, and then she was like, P.S. coach, I'm going to St. Bonaventure, which broke my heart. I had a tough freshman year. I was at a different university, just wasn't the right fit, and Coach Minetti, she reached out to me, and I put my name in the transfer portal, and she basically asked me if I would come to the program. And unfortunately for her, it didn't work out. Fortunately for us, we got her on the back end. Overall, I just loved it here. The atmosphere was amazing, the students are amazing, the team's amazing, so I just knew right away that I wanted to be a pioneer. OT signed with the Pioneers after her freshman season, which is also the year that COVID hit. And on top of that, she got hit with the news that no athlete ever wants to hear. I was having hip pain, so I decided to go back to the doctor. I went my freshman year after the season was over. She's a pretty tough kid. So when she complains, I was like, mm, something isn't right. I had to get an MRI of both my hips, and that's when they found both of the tears. They diagnosed her needing double hip labrum surgery, which was like brutal. For me, it was tough. She was actually my roommate. It was weird looking over and not seeing her, you know, on the other side of the room. But on the floor, her, her presence was missed because um, she's like, she's our best shooter on the team. OT's road to recovery spans six months, including countless hours of rehab and reconditioning in order to join her teammates on the court for the upcoming 2021 season. And she actually came back and she looked dynamite. She looked so ready, like so much more ready than I had ever seen her even when I was recruiting her out of high school. Just having the opportunity to come here, um, show other people and my teammates what I could do for the program and how we could be successful. I just really wanted to step up in that leadership position and overall help everyone succeed. She has high energy. Um, she's always ready to just come in and just get the job done. So when she came back, like we immediately integrated her back in. And I know it was a little bit of a struggle for her, like her hips were a little tight in the beginning, but OT's a competitor, right? She goes so hard all the time. And so I think for her to just be able to get in and compete, was like such a refreshing change for her. Last season, OT the led the Pioneers in three-pointers, scoring 42, over, over, over and averaged the, the third most Dunker minutes in the entire Northeast the Conference, appearing in 22 games with 20 starts. This year, I mean, she wants to win. Like, she's a competitor. She sees the talent that we've brought in, that we've built around her. And so I think her relationship with the team has been really positive because they know what she brings to the table. Due to the longevity of the basketball season and the off-season training and team bonding the girls do together, as cliche as it sounds, the team refers to the program as a family. Just a close group, and I wouldn't want to be doing this process with anyone else. I believe we're really close, on and off the floor, I would say. And I think we've uh, had an appreciation just for being in the gym together. And that includes a special bond Coach Minetti shares with her players. Yeah, Coach Minetti's like my second mom, so it's just nice to have that like second part away from home. She's a really special kid. She really is. Seeing her as a competitor, but then seeing that side of her off the court that's just a really genuinely great human being. It's just, it's a dream. It's been a dream coaching her. Although the journey was not easy, OT has established herself as a leader on and off the court and is striving to stay consistent in her shooting as the pioneers start their fight towards the chip on November 7th on their home court. For Sacred Heart Sports Media, I'm Mia Sancinelli, Fairfield, Connecticut.